Hi, I'm Lewis Moran Cook, and I'm the course leader for 3D design. So this is 3D A level, um, and basically this comes under the AQA art and design spec. So it'll be slightly different from what you've had at school, where most of you will probably have done DT. Now the major change between DT and the AQA uh, 3D design is that it's 100% coursework instead of having the written exam at the end. So the course is made up of different components. You'll start in the first year doing three minor projects. That is woodwork, metalwork, and then a product. And then that will then progress on to you doing component one, 60% of your overall A-level, which is then the architecture stuff. And then you will then move into component two, which can be architecture, can then go into furniture, can be lighting design, or it can be product. Your first unit will be uh, woodwork, where we will start with you making large towers. Then it will progress into cubes, before you then think about how you would construct in full scale with different joints, and then you go on to make your final furniture outcomes, which will be small scale tables and chairs. Your second module will then look at using metal. So you'll start by generating these wire trees um, out of kind of fine uh, steel. That will then progress into you taking the shapes from those and thinking about how you'll then construct that into a chair shape. So uh, with both drawn and computer kind of design, that will then allow you to think about how your chair will form and function before you then go on to get your larger scale versions where you'll have a rod of steel and then you will beat it and heat it so that it will form its end shape. Then either using plastic finishes or thinking about fabrics to then finish off the product. The third unit that you will do in your first year is using products. So by generating an initial styrofoam uh, perfume bottle, that gets you able to use the different material. Then you'll go on to think about your design and thinking how you'll construct that. So you'll do an initial prototypes before then thinking about generating the final products. Now that will happen in MDF and get you used to the laser cutter. So you'll laser cut your initial shape before then thinking about uh, filling, sanding, and then your spray paint layers to get your end product so that hopefully you'll have something that functions at the end of that module. My name is Georgia and I am doing 3D design, maths and photography. One of the reasons because I choose to do 3D design is because of the amazing department that they have and because I was mainly interested in architecture. This is why I choose it. <laughs> Component one is then your next step. So this starts roughly in the February of your first year and then will last for an entire year all the way through till the February of your second year. Now that's a long period of time, but once you take out the summer, Christmas and your half terms, that does compact into a relatively long project, but still a project where you can then grow and expand your knowledge. The start of that component one will then get you looking at three specific areas. Brutalism and modernism, where you'll end up making maquettes that are uh, small block work. Then you're going to have a look at angular, um, faceted design, where you'll both use foam and different plastic techniques to then develop um, those ideas. And then you'll have your fluid and curved linear approach, which will then kind of complete your understanding of different architectural styles and aesthetics. Once those are finished, then you'll start designing your buildings for three specific sites. To make this personal, we get you to choose three sites, one rural, one coastal, and one urban, and then you'll start developing models for those. They initially start quite small, so you can see for instance here, and those will then build and develop. So from those initial sites, you'll develop six initial models. That will then progress and go down to three before you then end up having your full scale final model. And that then completes your component one. Hi, I'm Abby and I'm studying 3D design at Godalming College. I really like the model making process and I'm also quite good at drawing, so I really like drawing. I think it's a great course if you like being creative and I like how it's mostly coursework based. Component two then starts in the February of your second year. Now this is externally set assessment. So the exam board send a question paper through, which is then a starting point for you to then progress your uh, journey throughout that project. Now we set that you can choose architecture, product, uh, furniture or lighting as your pathways. Now that once again starts with you looking at architects or designers or artists and then building from there your project going onwards. 
From those initial shapes and ideas, you then start developing. So for instance, you can see on the table in front of us, some of the furniture displayed um, and those that go on to do potentially architecture or those that go on to do lighting design or that unit that was in your first year allows you then to concentrate on developing that product. Depends on what way you want to go and what your career aspirations are, really then depends on what one of those you end up taking forward and thinking about doing. It ends in a 15 hour exam, but this is a practical exam where you make your final outcome. So apart from the actual making, there is no then written assessment attached to component two. My name is Finn, I'm doing economics, maths and 3D design as my A-levels. I chose this course because from a very young age I've wanted to do architecture and the component one and component twos of this course are very centred around architecture. Lessons are broken into uh, three lessons in a week. They will uh, sporadically be placed depending on your timetable. Now two of those lessons will be practical and you'll be in the workshop and then the other one will either be art based or digital based. So those lessons allow us to then progress the design elements and then your two workshop lessons allow you to then progress your practical making skills. One of the things I love about this course is the um, sketchbook because I'm a really precise person and I love having everything into place and disposing my work in the book, which is really nice. Although we can't guarantee success, we do have an incredibly high success rate. So 75% of students over the recent years have attained between an A star and a B. Those of you that have done DT or a subject similar at school may ask around your CAD CAM kind of advances. Now we end up using Fusion 360 currently um, alongside SketchUp to develop those ideas and these tend to be industry standard, depends on what you are going into, but the Autodesk uh, which then allows you to do Fusion 360 is something that you will find if you're going into any of the industries going on. I took this course because I'm a very creative person and it kind of inspires my creativity. There's lots of resources here like laser cutting and 3D printing that I wouldn't be able to access otherwise. So with 3D design A level you are completely working in a sketchbook. That's 100% coursework and during your time on the course there will be one essay attached to component one that explains your journey. Apart from that all work is then assessed by you putting it into your sketchbook and making sure that your thoughts, your inquiries are then presented within there so that that will be the assessed. Alongside that, obviously your practical work will be assessed and the essay then helps us to understand your journey throughout that project. The support from teachers is really good. Um, it's always there. Literally, you can come in and ask something and they will know how to do it. It's, it's, out of all the courses, it's the best. The art based is always a starting point. So for each of your projects, you'll start with an art inquiry and that then allows us to take those key shapes to develop on to then have digital methods. So within this project, we do straight line drawings and collages that help to develop the digital aspects that get us to think about the side profiles for what will become the cubes before that then moves on to thinking about your chair design and progressing forwards. So with each of those elements, there are slight art um, practices, but we're also then demonstrating CAD ideas. Okay, so that's developing that understanding and then the final making process is all documented within the sketchbook. The support with the teachers is really good. They help me with um, learning how to laser cut and 3D print things and the technology that's quite difficult. The idea of coming along and doing 3D design at college is to allow you to gain both practical experience, some art experience and CAD experience, which hopefully will then progress you on your journey. If you are looking to go to university to think about engineering or architecture or product design, then this is a great starting point. However, it's not exclusive that you have to go on and do a subject that is attached to this. We do have students that go on and do things like psychology, biology, etc. When you're outside of lesson, you can always come into the department and use the facilities we have here and continue with your work. <laughs> So it's a great course that then fits into the practical element. If you're doing two other subjects that might be more exam based, then this allows you that practical exposure.